Alright, welcome back YouTube. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and More. Today we're going to go over wear symptoms, okay? So the wear symptoms are going to be, <clears throat> what are the symptoms of wear in the barrel, screw, and non-return valve, okay? So these are the eight things you can check, or if you're having problems with, this is what you can have if you're having problems, okay? <clears throat> so... Number one would be screw rotation during injection. So it's supposed to be like a plunger. So it's supposed to rotate. And then once the material gets back in front of the check ring, once it goes forward, the check ring seats, then this screw goes forward. And then it's supposed to be like a plunger system, okay? So that screw is not supposed to turn. So if you see it doing this and rotating as it's going forward, then you know you got a problem. Now some screws barely turn a little bit. I mean, teeny tiny, but you should not have it like doing this as it's going forward, okay? So, the first one would be... Lifless screw design has three zones. The feed zone, the compression or transition zone, and the metering zone. The feed zone has the deepest flight depth, allowing the greatest volume of granules to fall into this zone. It's where plastic melting begins. Next is the compression or transition zone. This zone has gradually decreasing flight depth. The compression zone is where melting of the plastic pellets should be completed. The last zone is the metering zone. It has the least flight depth and so is the most restrictive to flow. In this zone, the plastic should be thoroughly mixed and should be at a uniform temperature. The ratio of the flight depth in the feed zone to the flight depth in the metering zone is called the compression ratio. The compression ratio affects the melting ability and the output of the screw. Typical compression ratios for thermoplastic screw designs are from 2 to 1 to 3 and 1 half to 1. Thermoset injection molding screws have little or no compression ratio. So here's a picture of black specks in your part, okay? I don't know why my camera shut up. But the first one would be screw rotating during injection, okay? So worn or damaged non-return valves or barrels allow screw to move forward without pushing the plastic causing the screw to rotate, okay? <clears throat> the next one, in a, uh, inability of screw to hold a cushion, okay? So you need to have a repeatable cushion you know, anywhere from a quarter inch all the way up to at least three quarters of an inch cushion. Some bigger presses an inch. So on here it says, worn or damaged non-return valve or barrel permits screw to move forward without pushing and packing the plastic end mold, okay? So then, number three, longer than normal recovery time. So plasticating time takes a lot longer to meter back. Let's say you're running, you've been running, and you're averaging 18 seconds for it to pick back up, okay? Then all of a sudden it goes up to 25 seconds or, or longer. Then you know you got a problem somewhere, okay? So on that one, longer than normal recovery time, it says reduce plasticizing efficiency resulting from worn barrel or screw, okay? Next one would be increase in overall cycle time. So if your cycle time starts going up, due to the screws not making it back or something like that um, caused by all of the above okay worn barrel screw non-return valve resulting in slower or in, insufficient plasticating okay number five um, effective streaks or non-return uniform appearance okay so what this would be is like you get the parts out or whatever and they just look poor looking and they have clumps of the pellets not even melted down all the way and stuff so that could be an issue big time um, medical or <clears throat> number six metal particles in your parts okay so this could be an issue the, the screw could be flaking off and stuff so so flaking or peeling from the screw plates or barrel liner okay number seven dark or burn streak specks in the parts or whatever okay so this could be carbon buildup or anything okay 
So barrel and screw worn or pitted, allowing plastic to gather in the worn spots and degrade, okay? So it could get burned up and stuff. So definitely, if you, you run a clear part or your white part, it's got black specks in it, probably got a lot of carbon buildup in your screw on the flights and stuff. Last one, uh, difficult in achieving a color change. So if your color changes are really hard to change now, a lot of companies that they have <clears throat> a lot of color changes, they'll have a mixing head at the very end of the screw and then they'll use that a lot. But if you have a hard time getting the color out, that's another issue there. So hopefully these help you guys out with worn symptoms um, for the barrel, screw, and non-return valve, okay? Um, hope you guys like this. I hope it was informational. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.